Hey everyone, welcome to Area 616, and to my weekly Doctor Who Season 10 review. So in the third episode of Doctor Who, um, Thin Ice, the TARDIS takes the Doctor and Bill to the past, London, where the River Thames has been frozen over and there's this festival taking place on it. But, turns out, people are being eaten by a monstrous whale underneath it. So honestly, I'd say this was probably my least favorite episode of the season so far. It wasn't bad by any means, it just could have been so much better. In a way, it was just kind of predictable and not nearly as exciting as it could have been. Doctor Who usually moves at a fast pace, which is fine, but here, for some reason, it's almost like it moved too fast sometimes. Overall, I'd say the episode was kind of underwhelming. The villains were boring, the supporting cast was passable, even the Doctor and Bill both felt slightly more boring here. It wasn't terrible, but it could have been so much better in my opinion. The monster was fine, it wasn't impressive or interesting enough to be memorable, it was just a whale. Even the bit with it being a prisoner and wanting to be free and all that has been done on Doctor Who before. Also, I don't understand how no one saw the monster. I mean, I get that the doctor said they were drunk, but that doesn't mean everybody was. There had to be someone who saw it. I don't know, overall the episode just didn't really feel as airtight as it could have been. It wasn't terrible, but it could have been better. Honestly, the best part of the episode was, weirdly enough, the last two or so minutes, when the doctor and Bill come back, gets mad at them. I don't know why exactly, but that last bit was so much more interesting than the whole episode, and they didn't even really do much. We saw Nardole down at the vault, where whatever's inside starts knocking to get out. The next episode is called Knock Knock, however it seems to be about a house eating people, so I'd say that was just an unintentional coincidence. Though the knocking does remind me of the four knocks back with the tenth doctor, which does make me wonder if it's a master who's locked up in there. Now this sounds crazy for a couple reasons. One, the master is missing now and we know she's on the loose. But maybe it's like a past version of the masters? We do know John Sims is returning for the role. I don't know, it's just a crazy theory. Overall, I like the idea of Bill starting to learn that being a companion to the Doctor is in all fun and games, but it didn't really come to that satisfying of a conclusion for me. Overall, again, this episode was not by any means terrible, but I definitely think it's the weakest of season 10 so far, to me at least. In any event, what did you guys think? Do you like episode 3 of season 10 or no? And what do you think is in the vault? Let me know all your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.